Okay, in this problem, we're told to find the inverse of this function. f of x is equal to 3 times the log base 4 of x. And we'll do this with the standard technique of finding the inverse of a function. And that technique is this. Instead of the function notation, f of x, we use the simple y equals notation. So just rewrite this as y equals 3 times log base 4 of x. And then we switch the x and the y. So everywhere you see a y, write an x. And everywhere you see an x, write a y. And that gives us x equals 3 times log base 4 of y. And then we take this equation and we solve it for y. And when we do, the result that we end up with will be the inverse of the original function. And that's what we're looking for. So to solve this for y, we just use ordinary algebra. And the first step is pretty simple. We divide by 3. And of course, we do that on both sides. And over here, the 3's cancel. And that leaves us with x over 3 on the left. And on the right, we have the log base 4 of y. So now we need to solve this for y. This log base 4 of y, remember the y here is inside this log. This isn't log 4 times y. This is the log base 4 of y. You might even want a little parentheses right there. So the y is inside the base 4 log. So the question we ask is, how do we get rid of a base 4 log? In order to algebraically isolate y, we need to get rid of the base 4 log. And we do that with a base 4 exponent. So I'm going to do 4 to the left side and also 4 to the right side. So I'll write that over here. I'm just going to show you this. This step is actually often done in your head. It's really actually pretty simple, but watch. This is 4 to the power of the left side. So that's 4 to the power of x over 3 and 4 to the power of this entire right side. So 4 to the power of log base 4 of y. Okay, now what that gives us, I'll write it down here. The left side is just 4 to the power of x over 3. And on the right side, this base 4 exponent and the base 4 log cancel each other out. And it leaves us simply with y. 4 to the power of log base 4 of y is just y. So the right side is just y. And again, you can write this if you need to, but this is actually pretty easy to do in your head. Just watch this. Go from here to here. x over 3, we do a base 4 exponent. 4 to the left side equals 4 to the right side. And over here, when you look at this and you see this base 4 log, you recognize a 4 to the power of a base 4 log will result in a base 4 exponent and a base 4 log canceling each other out. So we just get a y. So we usually just go from here to here without writing this intermediate step. OK, so 4 to the x over 3 equals y. We're done. Our goal was to solve this for y, and that's it. y is equal to this. So this is the inverse of the original function. So let's write that. f inverse of x using the notation for an inverse function is 4 to the power of x over 3. And we can note. Uh, note quickly that the original function involved a base 4 log. So the inverse involves, involves a base 4 exponent. And the original function involved multiplying by 3. And the inverse function here involves dividing by 3. And here's another example f of x is equal to the natural log of x plus 7 over 2. And we're told to find the inverse. So same technique. Rewrite this with the y equals notation. So y equals the natural log of x plus 7 over 2. And then switch the x and the y. So that gives us x equals the natural log of y plus 7 over 2. And then we need to take this equation and solve for y. So to start, we multiply by 2 on both sides. And these 2's cancel. And that gives us 2x on the left and the natural log of y plus 7 
on the right. Now we need to solve this for y, so we need to, I, to isolate the y algebraically. And right now the y is inside the natural log. Natural log, remember, is log base e. And we can get rid of a log base e by using a base e exponent. So I'm going to think e to the left side equals e to the right side. Or in other words, I exponentiate both sides with a base of e. So e to the left side, that's easy. That's just e to the power of 2x. And over here, e to the right side is just going to be y plus 7. My base e exponent and my base e log cancel out, which was the very reason we exponentiate both sides with base e. So e to the 2x equals y plus 7. And then there's just one step to do to solve for y. We need to subtract 7 from both sides. And so you can do that mentally. And I'm going to flip it around at the same time. y is going to equal e to the 2x minus 7. And so that's the answer. Once you solve for y, the result that you get is the inverse of the original function. So let's write that. f inverse, and remember that's the notation for inverse function. That's not an exponent in this case. The inverse of function f is equal to e to the 2x minus 7. OK, and again, let's take note. The original function involved a natural log. That's a base e log. The inverse involves a base e exponent. The, uh, the original function involved division by 2. The inverse involves multiplying by 2. And the original function involves an, add, an addition of 7. And the inverse has a subtraction of 7. So all the steps done in calculating a value for the function would be undone in reverse order if we were to calculate a value for the inverse function.